All right, now that I showed you some things that was out of view, I can get back to the bags. I need to pull some over here. Anyway, and if you want to look up anything like the Pixa Canon camera that I showed y'all that I said was going to sell for like 200 bucks. Yeah, they're selling for like 200 bucks on eBay all day. Um, it's like a Pixa IP90 and then the Black and Decker automatic jar opener. That's what that is. And then a JVC TV. Like I said, I'll probably just try to keep that for myself unless somebody sends me a shout out saying that they want to buy it. Like I said, I got a 50 bucks. I'll probably can sell for like 100, 150, I think. Um, online possibly more because when I was looking for it on eBay I really couldn't find it and the parts were selling for like 40 and 50 bucks itself so um, and it definitely works but <clears throat> back to the bin time stuff this right here is like a core pack bleed I really don't want to show it to you anymore because when I was at the counter bin time and it fell and when it fell it like busted open so and I think it has something to do with like a jock strap type stuff so we're just gonna set that on this side um, and then we got this right here. This is Michael Jordan hardwood classics. Come fly with me. Anytime I see something with like Jordan on it or anything basketball related, Lakers, I usually grab it up because I low key I do like Jordan. But I wouldn't call myself a Jordan Jordan fan. Um, let me finish the Ben Tom bag first. There's only a few more items. Here goes this Microsoft uh, window thing. It's like a window upgrade. It's like for Windows 10 um, official. I mean, original manufactured. It's like a four-bit, one-pack DVD. I I'm gonna have to like actually Google this and look it up because I tried to scan it on eBay and Amazon. I really couldn't find it, so I don't know if I wasted two dollars or if I really got lucky with two dollars. Because some a lot of these programs, they're worth money. Some you can get a sell for like seventy and eighty bucks. Some you can only sell for like twenty bucks. Some you can only sell for like really ninety-nine cents. So we'll, we'll see what happens with this one. But this one's like a um, the Windows 10. So hopefully we'll see what happens. Just a few more items in the bin top bag. Some dog treats for my snack. Dog treats for my snacks. Some snacks for the dog. <laughs> so it's a natural, healthy tooth to tail. Don't even know what it is. I googled it while I was there. It was kind of expensive, so I was like, "Hey, my dog might get it two dollars." I might put one of them on eBay just to make my money back. Um, here goes some more dog stuff or cat stuff. Hairball Remedy Plus. I believe I, when I scanned this, I believe that's the only reason I bought it because I believe I scanned it. There was three in here, and I love Ben Tom for the fact that you can buy fine items and you can get three in one pack, and they're only charging you for what the price of one, regardless. So, let's see if I can find this for you real quick. It's in plastic, so the reflection is going to be kind of hard. I do have a scanner that I should have out, my little new handy dandy scanner. One of my friends recommended me. Yeah, these are selling for four dollars and sixty-one cents a bottle. Uh, four pack is selling for seventeen dollars. Um, three pack is selling for right here it says eight bucks. Somebody selling the six pack for thirty-three bucks. So hopefully I can make. Like I said, I bought the whole pack for two bucks. If I can make two bucks, give one to my cat, and I'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the small profits. It's not about being greedy. Tidy mates, flushable wash. My girlfriend's and obsessed with stuff like this, so that's she'll be getting that. All right, um, some nunchucks. This is at Ben's I'll Be shipping this to one of my friends' son. Because again, don't be greedy with your money. You know what I'm saying? Blessings is by sharing. You know what I'm saying? The more you share, the more blessings that you receive as well. I'm sorry, I'm trying to grab some of these bags. All right, now that was all of the bin time stuff. Now I'm about to start going through all the, the goodwill things that I found, the goodies, the goodies. It's amazing how many goodwills that I hit up and how much stuff that I find. I feel like I, I need to be traveling more and more and I don't hit up more stores, but the few four or five or six or nine, 15 stores that I hit up on a regular basis, I'm always finding things and it's crazy. I mean, it's, it's, it's really crazy. $1.99 for a little cat bowl. My cat needs a bowl. Some wallpaper out of Goodwill. Price cost $4.99. The color of the day was green. Ah, if you said red, you was wrong. I wish it was red. 
I always never buy the color of the day. It's it's crazy. I'm always most of the products I get end up being something that's opposite color. And I think they do it on purpose. They know what the color should be, but they do it in spite of me. But anyways, so right here again, this is something I scanned, didn't have a price next to it, but this is something I do know. I usually get wallpaper. Usually at Goodwill you see a lot of wallpaper. And surprisingly, when I send it into Amazon, the wallpaper sells. And they usually sell from like $33.33. That's like my little thing. I usually sell things for like 33, 33, 77, 77, 22, 23, whatever, whatever. From any kind of numerical sequence, it's gonna be the same. So these will probably sell for like I'm gonna try 40 something, something, something. And then I'm gonna end up probably hopefully selling them for like $30, anywhere between 20 something dollars. But again, I bought the bottom for $4.99. And if they're at five dollars at Goodwill, it's usually a good product, although Goodwill does try to swift you, I mean, stiff you sometimes, charging you more than Amazon. All right, right here we have a dog assembled travel kit. I opened it earlier while I was in Goodwill to make sure that it was still intact, everything was there. Um, I believe when I scanned it earlier, the ranking was pretty good on this. 29,000 dog products, pet products. Cost twelve dollars and forty five cents. I bought it for a dollar ninety nine. I think when I was wrestling with myself in Goodwill when I purchased this, I was telling myself that I'm definitely going to put this on eBay because I think my profits are only like five dollars. And even though I my new goal is trying to make five dollars every time something sells, I want to make the most money. And I think I can make the most money on eBay, so that's where it's going to go. Um, try to get these things out the way. These filter cartridges for pools. Summer's about to get up, but I bought some things for a pool a few weeks ago, and when they, when, they, when they got to Amazon, they they still sold like crazy. Um, and plus they're only ninety nine cents, and I believe they were selling for if I can scan one for you real quick. You have five pack is twenty three dollars. A ten pack is twenty six dollars. Amazon makes crazy prices like that. It's not up to me. Um, one right here is eighteen dollars. There's another one three dollars. Three pack forty one dollars. But you can see there's certain ones. There's some that's require approval, and that's because they're bogus. Um, so I'm saying a five pack is probably the realest one for twenty three dollars. So again, I got a bunch of them. I think I got like eleven total. Actually, let me get one of these bags and put them all in a new bag and see if we can figure it out together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dollars, eight. I had one behind me. So it's for seven dollars, eight dollars. Put that over there, and hopefully the profits again. If I can sell, most of like I'll probably put them on eBay or sell them in quantities of three because the one by the quantities of three have a really pretty a pretty good ranking by them, and it says thirty one dollars with my profit. So I'll probably test one, send one of three in, and I'll probably send like two of one in, and I'll probably send like one of two in. So if you kind of get the picture, I'll probably try my luck in different areas because I got them all for a dollar. So no matter what you happen to, I sell them, and so this. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, if the one I send of three in sells, my profit's $31, and that would cover all of them. So that's usually my goal in a lot of things, too. Just buy something that can cover the whole purchase. Pencils. Um, one time I found some of these in Goodwill, and they were like 59 cents. And I think the color of the day was the same color that the uh, pencils were, so I bought them just because. And I sent them in Goodwill. And surprisingly, they sold quick. Um, and they sold for a ridiculous amount. Like, who pays seventeen dollars for pencils? Um, I don't think that's what they sold for. But you know, I mean, it was it was crazy. So I got some more pencils. Let's see if I can get a good scan and see how much they cost. Yeah, seven bucks. So yeah, seven bucks. I think my profit's gonna be. Yeah, my profit's gonna be seven six dollars and ninety two cents. So minus the dollar that I purchased for five dollars ninety two cents. You're starting to get the picture. So five dollars for a dollar pack of pencils. Why not? These right here, I think I'm definitely gonna have to put them on eBay. But um, I, I got them for a dollar ninety nine. Uh, they are don't even know. 
something about some a packet of new something some, some kind of fasteners to be honest the sticky is kind of blocking exactly what they are I just got them because when I scanned them I guess they were worth money don't even know what some things are sometimes just scan it and get it because it's worth money yeah so selling for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents and there's only one other person selling them so I got it for two dollars so that's ten dollar profit all day because I'm going to sell it on eBay and I'm going to make somebody else pay for shipping and right now, like somebody's paying nine dollars and forty-five cents for shipping, I'll probably be a little bit cheaper than that shipping, or I'll probably just make it pay the whatever region that they're at. So, two-dollar profit. I mean, two-dollar purchase. A nice ten-dollar profit. Um, every time I go shopping, I always find one product that I regret. Um, on my way home. This product is the one I've been regretting. This at my very first stop, I purchased this. It's a typewriter, you know what I'm saying? Got the receipt paper. Got a really good rank. I looked it up. Um, I did my due diligence, but I just don't know. This would be the only black one um, being sold, I believe. I just don't know. It's just the prices that I was I was seeing. I wasn't really too fond of. So. Let's see if I can look it up for you again. Because I'm going to have to actually look up the number. So sometimes we have bare products like this. Just look at the back of the product and read whatever it is. Usually I just type in whatever number it is. Like it says, electric calculating machine. Right under it says EL2630. I literally just type in EL260. And whatever I'm searching for usually pops up. See, I'm not even done typing it and the whole whatever it was popped up. Sharp EL236, yes. So we're just going to hit it. And they're selling for like, okay, so you see one selling for 59, 66. Then you see them selling for 16, 49, 14, 29, 54, 22, 22, 30, 50. So you get my drift. It's like there are a lot of them. There's a black one, 24. There's a lot of them. And... It's like I really don't feel like competing, so I'll probably just throw this on there and just throw it on auction to see what happens. Hopefully it gets sold. I mean, as long as I make my money back, $4.99, I'm not even going to complain at this point. If I make two cents on it, I won't even complain. Matter of fact, if you want to buy this, um, you can message me at bsr.llc at outlook.com and you can get the price and you can have it. No, Matter of fact, drop a, a comment or something and I might just send it to you for free. And you can sell it and do something with it. All right, right here we have, this is a paper shredder. I have been looking for a personal paper shredder forever. But when I scan this one today, please don't let me be a liar. I want to say the ranking was good. I want to say the ranking was good. Please be good, please be good. Okay, let's see. Okay, boom, there we go. The ranking is 542. When I see rankings like 542, 902, 103, 51, anything like super low, it gets me excited just because I know as soon as it gets to the facility it's gonna sell the same day or it's gonna sell within the, the week so this cost me four dollars and my profit is nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents so I'm probably gonna end up making like fifteen dollars and ninety four cents so that really can't be that and if I have to go in like price competition I still have a lot of room to wiggle to where my my profit is still there because I'm all about return on investment ROI is the important thing around here so again, it cost me four dollars. A potential profit is nineteen ninety four after they take out the fees, and Amazon's taking nine dollars and seventy one cents in fees. So I might just put this on eBay so I can keep that nine dollars. Who knows? We'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. All right, trying to move forward. Trying to move forward. Uh, this clock is kind of beat up in the box. Obviously, they wanted to make sure that they knew, you knew the price was two dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, I think I got it because when I scanned it. There was no price. And the, now here's one of those things where I was telling you, um, like you can scan an item and it's going to have a bad ranking. Like this is a two million in home. Now, two million in books, two million in home, not so good. Um, it means it has like zero sales a month, which means it might sell one every three or four months. But when I go on Amazon and I look, it's, not, it's one of those situations where there are no more sellers. I'd be the only one selling it. So hopefully I can just throw it on there for like 20, 30 bucks and make some money. If not, I'll drop it all the way down to $10 until, you know what I'm saying? It just goes. It doesn't matter to me. It costs me $3 and I'm willing to invest $3 of my money in order to make potentially 15 
and I'm also willing to invest three dollars versus stopping at the store and getting me a few sodas versus you know what I'm saying so that's just something that you got to kind of balance in your life now again it can be a total loss I might wish I would have stopped at that store and quenched my thirst I always see some packing supplies I always grab it because I'm always shipping stuff out well not always but I would love to always like to be shipping stuff out We got a um this quartet cork tiles cork board five and a half by fourteen cork board wall bulletin board frameless modular four eight one one zero don't ask me why I just talk like that but anyways this is what we got it cost me a dollar ninety nine and it is selling for six ninety nine my profit is five dollars and seventy eight cents so in essence I'm making three dollars some change. Just a little quick profit. It's 11,000 office products. That's pretty good. So, one of those things that is sell. All right, here we have an Aladdin Micro Magic food bottle. When I open it initially, you can still see the sticker on top. Some people like drinking things with a sticker on it. Like some people like wearing clothes with a tag on it. Some people like wearing shoes with a tag. So I don't know, but I, I will definitely inspect it later on. It's not scanning for me right now. So this is something I have to put on eBay. It's like a ooh, ooh, micromatic something, something or another. I'll just skip that. And if you really want to know how much it costs, just comment down below and I'll do a follow-up or something. I'm trying to get through products kind of fast. I don't want y'all sitting there all day. So the color of the day was green this cost three dollars and 99 cents which pretty much means i paid two dollars for it. and then they're bifsters they're baby bifsters i believe i scanned this earlier on um, amazon and nobody was selling it and yeah that's yeah that's right nobody's selling it so twelve dollars and 33 cents sound about right twelve dollars 33 cents i paid two bucks get ten dollar profit Look at that, I sold another thing. Sold something else today. It gets me excited. Every time I sell something, it makes me want to go shop some more. Because once you start getting them sales in, it's... And then of course, there's risk. I mean, please believe that there is risk in doing this. 99 cents. This is a um, mini accents. Don't even know, to be honest. I just, when I scan stuff sometimes, like I said, I scan it. If it's a good product, I throw it in the cart. Don't even look at it sometimes. So, but right now, this is cost 650 online. I purchased it for 99 cents, but the color of the day was green, so I got this for 50 cents in essence. When you go to Goodwill, don't be one of those people who don't round up. Round up. Oh, coat rack. Okay, I'm about to say, where is the. I got this for myself, so y'all don't worry about that. But if you're curious, it costs $2 for a coat rack. Put that in my personal pile. Right here is something else I got for the house. It's a crumb sweeper. Like you, it's two dollars. I mean, you probably would pay like seven, eight bucks somewhere else. Probably like thirteen, fourteen at the right place. So I mean, why not? It's one of those things. If you need it at the house, get it. I purchased these for ninety nine cents, and surprisingly, they. They sell for like 30 bucks, but that's probably not realistic. I'll probably put them on it for like 20 and they'll probably sit for, because the rank is 1526624 So they'll probably sit for a while, but again, they cost me 99 cents. I mean, I'm willing to take that chance. All right. <laughs> Well, got some more of these, so I believe my count was eight earlier, nine, ten, eleven. About to find that bag. Eleven. So this was the very first thing I saw when I walked into Goodwill. Um, that's how you know it's going to be a good or bad day. I'm just playing. I really never have too many bad, bad, bad days. But this is a personal ultrasound jewelry cleaner sparkling spa. Um, when I saw it, it cost ten bucks. 
I was I wanted to buy immediately because the color of the day was green, and I was like, if they're charging ten bucks for an item, it has to be worth something. Because Goodwill, again, they will overcharge you sometimes. Well, actually, a lot more often than not. But if they overcharge you, it's, it's pretty. It's probably a pretty good product. And right here is selling new. It's selling new for thirty nine dollars. Amazon selling for thirty nine dollars and forty six cents on used. They're selling for thirty dollars and ninety five cents. Um, at Amazon fees are ten dollars and twenty eight cents. My profit is twenty dollars and sixty seven cents. So pretty much, I bought it for five bucks. I'm going to make fifteen dollars and sixty seven cents roughly, depending on how I list it, how I sell it, and when I bust it open and see what it really looks like. Um, it does look like you can just look at the tape and tell it has been opened before. So hopefully all the pieces are in here. I'm pretty sure they are because it was in a glass and goodwill and usually goodwill that I go to. They're usually good about putting products that actually work and are actually good in the glass. So hopefully this will be a pretty good steal. A nice little fifteen dollar and some change profit. And the rank is eighty nine thousand. So it's it's not that it's not that bad. It's pretty good actually. I mean for me, products under hundred thousand usually sell pretty well. Um These right here were a case of where I just pretty much bought them just because they were green. Um, I have friends who have kids. They'll probably end up getting it. There's a listing on eBay, but it's one of those things where they don't have an image. So I'm going to have to like, take my time, take pictures, and do a lot of that stuff. But when I look at it on um, eBay, yeah, there's like nothing. I can like create my own listing for one of them. I'm probably going to send one of them to somebody, you know, and then I'll probably end up less than two. So, one gift, two sell. And hopefully I can make something, but if I don't, it's 50 cents, so all three of them are $1.50. fifty. Less than on eBay for, they cost two ninety nine, so I'll probably list them for seven bucks on Amazon, seven, eight bucks on eBay. Who knows? I might just give them all away. You got kids, they need toys. Drop that link. Because one day I plan on starting doing giveaways for real. And I want to be able to give away some of this stuff and use some of the some of my money because I do believe in giving back to the community. So I would love to be able to give back to the community through my YouTube channel or you know what I'm saying? That that would be great. So right here I got this goodwill, cost a dollar ninety nine. The color of the day was. That's right. So on eBay it's selling for forty bucks. Plus shipping, I probably won't charge for shipping, just because I got it for a dollar. Um, yeah, so I probably list it for like thirty-seven dollars and seventy-seven cents, and free shipping. So my profit would be like thirty after shipping. Shipping is going to cost me with this box like three dollars maybe. So I'm making cool thirty-five bucks easy. Hopefully, can't beat that. I know y'all don't know how bad I want to go through and peel these as I'm taking them out the bag because that's usually my process. I usually take things out the bag and peel them and then take a picture and then have them so they can be in the system. So when I go grab my computer, I can have everything already in the system. I can just click on all the products and say send to inventory and they're pretty much all ready for me. But y'all teach y'all one day in another video. I'm really trying to get a, um, a better camera so I can give you a, a good view or a better computer, whichever comes first. Ooh, that almost fell out the box. That would have been bad because this is new. This is definitely, definitely new. Oh yeah. I smell products. You can smell the newness on it. It costs three dollars and ninety-nine cents. This is probably something that I'll sell on eBay. I'm trying to have a better store on Amazon. Because when I first started my Amazon account, I was really just sending stuff in. I scanned if it was, I scanned it and sent it in. Sometimes I don't even test products because I was just a rookie. I was a beginner. I was hungry. Um, it's a good thing to be hungry, but it's a bad thing too because you don't stop. You don't take the time to really learn and really try to perfect your craft. So that's what I've been trying to do lately. I've been really trying to take my time and really perfect my craft and being able to find some good products to send in so I can make the best profit to make have the best reviews and just really not getting in the bad graces of Amazon because pretty much right now I'm dependent on Amazon is this I, you really can't beat Amazon sending in stuff and letting them just send you a check every two weeks just waking up sometimes and you have four or five products sold like that feels good you know and then one day like Sunday I had no products sold that day was horrible you hear me horrible no I'm just kidding 
but it's, it's just like that. It's just how sales are. And luckily, I had just watched another YouTube video when um, somebody was speaking about how sales really slow down on the weekends, especially like Sundays, because people are usually out with their families and stuff like that. But I, I get that too. So, but Monday, my sales pick right back up. So I'm not even mad. I can't even complain. It's all a learning experience. It's, it's all a learning experience. So again, I bought this right here for uh, three dollars and ninety nine cents, uh, and it was selling for three dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah, easy, thirty dollars and ninety five cents. There's some for thirty four. There's some for thirty five. There's some a little bit more expensive. Just sold something else on Amazon. See, that's just a blessing. You know what I'm saying? The universe definitely looks out for you. And if you follow me on YouTube, I'm trying to um start posting like at least one product, like my best product that I've sold of the day. I'm gonna start at least trying to do that <clears throat> to show you why people should really, really be taking this seriously because it's profitable. It, it really, really is. I want to say I'm already into the I'm already into the light where I'm, I'm making profit. Like no matter what I spend, because I'm getting checks from Amazon now, so I'm believing that the checks that I'm getting from Amazon, I usually don't try to spend more than that because again, I'm trying to use my money, make money. So now that I've invested enough in Amazon initially. Now I'm just using all those checks that I get from Amazon and usually I'll take like 90% of it and invest right back in Amazon, sometimes 100% of it. But for the most part, I try to put like 90% 90, 90 right back into it because I know it takes money to make money and I need that money to keep working for me, keep working for me. And I do invest my money in other avenues like um, Stash, well, I'll, well I'll, I'll talk about Stash one day, Robin Hood, I am trying to invest in some stocks. There's, there's different ways to make money different ways but yeah that was that product this cost $25 on Amazon for the record okay, right here we have this little pipe literally a pipe boxing is horrible yeah the boxing is yeah, it's been through one but it cost $16.99 and I purchased for $1.99 so hopefully that is sell because it has a really, really, really good rank. And I don't know why I keep telling you it has a really, really good rank when I can just tell you what the rank is. So let me go back to my history because I stopped looking at it. Thirty thousand in tools. This is a paper and photo trimmer. So this is one of those things where I wanted to initially buy for myself, but I had to talk to myself. I was like, no, nah, this needs to be profit. And um, it only cost 99 cents. So in the, in the profit used is $9.61. And new, the profit is $6.08. So you sometimes Amazon does funky stuff like that. But the rank is a million. But I have a brand new one. I'll send it in. It, it, it'll go one day. Again, I paid a dollar for it, so I can't get mad. A few weeks ago, I bought a bunch of different type of these things, and I haven't sent them in yet because I'm trying to decide if I want to like bundle them together because they're pretty much all the same brand, and they're different products within that brand where all the products correlate with each other. So um, I'm trying to kind of save those before I list them so I can just kind of decide and make, make the most money because that's the name of the game, make the most profit. But this right here cost me $2, and the potential profit is eighteen dollars and eighty one cents and selling used automatically for twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents but this my friends is new so I can probably make a little bit more if I listed this new so I could probably sell it for like wow if it's selling for twenty five dollars ninety nine cents I could probably list it for thirty five bucks maybe make it ten more dollars people are willing to pay ten more dollars for new versus old that might not work and right here this is just something I saw um, didn't look it up, didn't scan it. It cost two dollars and ninety nine cents. This is pretty much a um, Yankees World Series cup. It has like all of their rings on it. Pretty much goes up until two thousand nine. But you have a lot of a lot of the Yankee fans out there. Um, I know I'm automatically probably going to list this on eBay just because it's probably going to be easier for me to list. eBay is so much easier to list when it comes to like new products and listing new listings. E Amazon, you have that like a perfect white background and. Amazon is just so difficult, but I understand why because they're really trying to take over the world. <laughs> they want their products to be the, the truly best. They want their customers to have the best customer service. So I understand that because I'm in the service industry and I want my customers to have the best customer service, which doesn't always happen. But anyways, but yeah, New York Yankees Cup. 
right there. And if you see anything that you want, you can definitely email me at that link. I'll try to leave my email at the end, or I'll leave it in the comment description or something like that. And you can get any of this. It's all for sale. We're almost done. Thank God. Ooh, this. I'm going to save this for last. Just, just because. Here goes a pug. A pug pin holder. Cost me $1.99. And I believe I scanned it and it's going to be sellable on Amazon. I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. Yes, it's um, selling for $8.84. Uh, 35,000 rank, to me that's pretty good. Uh, my profit's $4.32. So I'm going to make $2.30 maybe. So, I mean, for me, like I said, I got, I got it because the rank was good. Anytime something, a rank is pretty good, it'll help your sales. I probably said that before in an old video, but... Something that's wrapped up right here, it cost a dollar ninety-nine. I want to say before I scanned it, I tried to scan this and I couldn't find it. I think. Okay, I lied. I found it, but on Amazon it requires approval, and on eBay maybe that's where I couldn't find it. Yeah, that's what it was. I can't find it on eBay. Yeah, there's no listing on eBay. So I would have to actually create the listing, which I'm going to have to do anyway. Um, Amazon was selling it, and but they didn't have a price next to it, which means nobody was selling it. So if I do hop on eBay, um, maybe I can get it sold. But they're like chocolate Easter egg molds, maybe. It doesn't say Easter on here, so maybe they'll sell just because it don't have Easter. And if I have description words that don't have Easter, and just put like chocolate egg molds, wonderful chocolate egg molds or something. Who knows? Again, it's a two dollar investment I'm willing to willing to invest in. I'm sure somebody wants some chocolate egg molds. Right here, Canon glossy paper. It cost me a dollar ninety nine. Once you've been doing this for a while, you'll start seeing products and you'll automatically just go to it naturally and just grab it because you know it's gonna sell. This is one of those products I saw it. As soon as I saw it, I think I bumped the old lady out of the way and I was like, hey, it's mine and I grabbed it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would not be disrespectful. But some people are so disrespectful. That's why I can't go to bed time anymore on the weekends. Those people are crazy. It's like Black Friday every Saturday. I can't go to places where people go the night before. <laughs> That's just it's madness. Calm down. Ain't nothing about else. Uh, but yeah, you can't sell those on eBay. It's a restricted item. But luckily, I mean, eBay. Did I say you can't sell those on eBay? If I did, you can't sell this on Amazon, but you can sell this on eBay. You can sell pretty much anything on eBay. Almost pretty much anything. If you can't sell it, they'll eventually send you a notice. There's some um, big corporation that don't want you selling their thing. Trending price is... Oh, that's for two of them. So the trending price is... 10 bucks. 9.95. Yeah, 10 bucks. <laughs> trending price for one. <laughs> here we have some dog waste bags cost me 99 cents is the cost of purchase and they're selling for 10 bucks so my profit's gonna be five dollars four dollars or some change we are almost done honestly don't even know how this got in my bag that's one of those things again I remember I was looking at it and I was it's been in the Goodwill for a while. Um, there's some kind of design, Macau, Warnenberg. I think they're like some kind of drawer holders or, or something to that effect. I'm really going to do some research on them. But I know I'm definitely going to put these on eBay because I can't find these on Amazon. These, they're been, they've been in Goodwill for about a good month, month and a half. But the price has been $3.99 forever. But the only reason I purchased them today because the color of the day was green. So that's the only reason I really got them. So I paid $1.50 for them. That had to be it. So that's why I got them. Okay, dollar fifty for a product. I have no idea what it is, or what I'm gonna do with it. If it's gonna sell, wallpaper. Is this the deal of the day? Possibly. Who knows? Let's see if I can scan it real quick. Purple cream bath basket wallpaper border. 
hmm. pay 99 cents for it and they're selling for $17 I wish y'all can really get a good look at that they're selling for $17 and 95 cents nobody's selling it I'd be the only one selling it so if I wanted to I can jack the price up but why would I do that I paid 99 cents for it so I can have them pay seventeen dollars and ninety something cents. I only paid a dollar. Why not? Don't be greedy. And something about us about Amazon when you're selling it, something that you need to know. You have some sellers, they'll send in products and as soon as their products get there, they'll start dropping the prices. Dropping the prices, dropping the prices. So if you have something listed for seventeen dollars, they'll have it for sixteen dollars and ninety seven cents. So sometimes Amazon will ask you a price match. And obviously you're going to want to price match as soon as you price match they're going to want to go lower and then you're going to want to go lower and you might be that person who wants to go lower on somebody else and they're going to have to match and just it, it, it's, it's definitely a struggle and you have to pay attention to your account because um in my beginning days when i was a rookie i didn't know you had to really monitor your account so there were some things that wasn't getting sold and i just didn't know why uh, because i wasn't monitoring my account and seeing how everybody else was dropping their prices so as soon as I start matching prices with everybody else, more things were getting sold, but still it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game you have to chase because some people have automatic settings. As soon as you have something drop, theirs automatically set to drop, So, which is crazy. Eventually you're gonna have somebody dropping their stuff automatically at $5.49 and then you do the same thing and eventually somebody gotta go to zero. You're gonna be giving yourself away for free. So I wish people would just get together on Amazon, just have a, have a group price. You don't see everybody else just dropping their prices just cause. But it is what it is. And this thing, no, it's not last. I might be last because I got this for the house. And I've showed you the TVs. And I've showed you the things over there. Actually, I'm going to show you the price of the Pixel. So you won't think I'm tripping. I'm going to actually go grab it. Hold on. Hmm. I see one more product over there too I have to show you. So I am not done. And as soon as I finish this, I'm going to have to go organize my room. I'm going to call my new office. That's going to take all night. Scanning it for you. Okay, so boom. This is what I was showing you earlier. I got it restored for 35 bucks. When I saw the price, I was like, oh, 35 bucks. But I told you I'm trying to get out of that making a dollar make me a dollar you know mm, pardon me try to go off camera but I went the wrong way but um so this I would say this is my first big 30 something over 30 dollars but yeah this is something I bought 35 dollars and now I'm trying to take a good chance on on Amazon at least or I mean eBay at least um it's selling on Amazon for 200 and 259 dollars new and used is selling for $98.48 um, and it has a really really good rank on Amazon the rank is 681 so I look at it this way if I can take that same ranking because 600 remember I told you anything like the hundreds is pretty good um, I can take that ranking and knowing that it's going to sell if I can just list this and have the same exact description when somebody else is searching and they're typing in Canon or whatever no matter where this goes it's going to pop up and if they want to purchase it, they're going to see the Amazon price. And they're going to see this one that I list. And mine's going to be way cheaper than $200-something. And right now, this it looks like this is in pretty great condition. I mean, <laughs> everything is in here. It is, I mean, it honestly looks like, yeah pretty pretty good condition I mean it doesn't even look like it has been used to be honest yeah it has oh that's just stick it but yeah yeah you can't beat that got it for 35 bucks has a potential for sale for 200 so I'm just gonna throw it on eBay because I believe when I looked it up on eBay some people were selling for of course they're selling for cheaper than anything Amazon's gonna try to do so I might even scan this book and sell it separately but yeah, I'm going to show you these last two or three things and this video will probably be concluded. This right here is a Wii Fit Plus.
one of my friends sold one of these quick like on eBay and they're going for $75 on eBay um, I bought this one for six bucks it says $5.99 but again I want y'all to notice that the sticker is green so I paid three bucks for this and some cheap people are selling them for like 44 bucks this one yeah 44 Amazon yeah 169 bucks wow you can't beat that now the final product I want to show y'all the main reason I saved this for last is because I see a lot of um youtubers they say if you want to purchase this product you can buy it from me and right now I'm in, I'm in the south that's where I stay and when I saw this in Goodwill, I knew I had to pick it up. It cost me $1.99. And when you look at other products like this, that's selling for 40 some selling for 50 You have one selling for 100 You have some selling for like 150 And it just all depends. So if you can see, it says Detra Flags. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not paying me no money, so it don't matter. But Detra Flags. And in this flag box, it is a, you can't read that, it's a confederate flag. But why? Why would you buy a confederate flag? Why? Because I believe in prophets. And if I do know one thing, people love, 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 love their confederate flag. So... What I am going to do is sell it. <laughs> so if you would like a Confederate flag, and I will probably put this not on eBay, not on Amazon. I might just put this on my Facebook page or my Instagram because I have lived in the South, like I said, and I have a lot of people on my feed who love this flag and I personally don't care about them loving the flag I don't care about people who hate people who like the flag I don't care I mean to me it's just a flag personally to me it is what it is like it's a symbol I mean there's so many symbols in the world people uphold so many symbols I mean it doesn't doesn't affect me at all you know what I'm saying I'm a black man and I'm carrying the confederate flag um a lot of my friends used to have the confederate flag in their trucks to be honest and I used to be in the back of the truck with them riding when I was a little bit younger um it just, just doesn't bother me man it's just because it is what it is like we we're all one per we're all one people we're all one person really technically we all share the same DNA we all technically share the same DNA with the trees if you want to get technical um we put too much into like flags and religion and you know, we try so many things to separate us instead of having things to bring us together. But I'm not trying to preach to y'all because I'm not a preacher. I just, <laughs> I just want to let you know that I do have a Confederate flag and it's going to be for sale. Um, don't know what I'm going to list it for. Um, I saw some Puerto Rican flags and Mexican flags and um, just all kinds of random different kind of flags listed for all different kinds of prices. But I know this is probably rare and this is probably going out. If I want to save it for another two years, it might be worth a little bit more money. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I know I'm going to have it, and I'm definitely going to um, probably start start it off with a list like $150. Just because, you know, why not? It cost me two bucks. So if somebody won't pay for this and they love their flag so much, they're going to pay me $150 for it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, but I will be lowering the price because it'll be on eBay auction, and the price will be lower about 5% every so often. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So th that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you got some ideas of what I go through scanning if you want to see a video of me going through searching for products they won't be these products I did take my camera out but I just didn't really sometimes I'm not really not comfortable just taking the video of myself and scanning in the store I need somebody kind of following me so maybe if I can get somebody I can get you some new videos and so you can actually see some of the videos I'm purchasing so some people might be like oh you just bag those things up and you just got luck I don't know you have a bunch of haters no matter what you do in life and just always remember that too no matter what you do in life you're gonna have haters you know what I'm saying don't let them stop you from anything that you want accomplished in your life If you have a drive to do something go do that thing you know what I'm saying don't let nobody stop you it took me a while to um, actually have the courage to do some things that I do in my life 
because I was honestly letting people hold me back, letting people's opinions really affect me and what my opinion should be. But don't, don't I hope I hope nobody in your life is holding you back from anything. You want positivity in your life. So moving forward, I hope that you get positivity, you get insight, and I hope I can bring just a little bit of that to you. That's my goal. I want to bring just a little bit of knowledge to you, hopefully so you can get some of this money that I'm trying to get. Because from a prison to profit, as you can see, I'm trying to make it happen. You know, maybe one day, I will, if I can get a good picture, we can get in my, um, my actual account and I can show you some of the things. I really don't want to show you like my account name and everything like that. But I want to actually take you on a journey because I want to build something real with you guys. I want to actually show you what it takes what my profits are on the products because again i'm showing you what they sell for i'm showing you some of amazon's fees and i'm showing you my profit um again none of this stuff might sell all this stuff might sit in amazon warehouse just attracting moths and crickets and spider webs so I, that, that's my disclaimer let you know none of the stuff might sell but i do have the faith and knowledge to know and the research to know that a lot of this stuff will sell and it will bring me profits Today I spent about, I want to say around $200 in sourcing, maybe. But I do know if I spent $200, I have the potential to make, probably today off some of my products, a few hundred bucks, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just profit. I spent two, I should make six. I ain't going to say easy, so I'm going to say I'm, I should make at least four and six, possibly. But um, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Um, for the few views that I do get, I really do appreciate you guys. And uh, for everybody who's really been hitting my inbox lately, trying to get find out more about me, y'all are encouraging me to drop more videos. Just because if everybody wants to ask questions, I can just drop these videos and everybody can get the same knowledge at the same time. That way I don't have to type everybody back one at a time because that gets kind of annoying too. But um, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you have a wonderful day. Stay up and make sure that you understand that you can do anything in your plan. Hope you have a blessed day and I'm out.